something specifically that happened to a DJ I want to talk about was this. This was posted, I think, yesterday, the day before. If you don't know what this is, this is where this gentleman, a particular DJ, was charging his uplights. And uh, shit caught on fire and uh, caused some damage to his garage. Thank God he said everybody's okay. He ended up, I guess he caught the fire. It didn't leave his garage. His house didn't burn down or anything crazy like that. But he said there was some damage in his garage and some things in his garage that was damaged. You know, luckily he's charging against a huge cinder block wall. It's going to kind of brock everything, you know what I mean? So he's okay. Everything's okay. Thank God. But I thought this was a good opportunity to kind of give you guys some tips on this, you know what I mean? To kind of prevent this from happening because this is definitely a, a, a big possibility. This was the original post. Shout out to Josh Bennett. It was on DJ Idea Sharing. He said um, he said he plugged in his lights at 7 p.m. He said the fire happened around 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. And uh, the fire marshal declared it, w- it was from the lights, from one of the lights, but they're not sure because everything was so burned up, so they're still kind of investigating. And he started the post saying, like, you know, I would not recommend buying Lix- Lixada lighting, which I'm, I'm assuming is like one of the knockoff Chinese brands. I never even heard of that brand of lighting, honestly. Um, but he said they work great, everything else, but then they burnt down, you know, and, and I don't know enough about the story to like say like whether or not he did anything wrong per se, because I, I, I don't except for one thing. But I just want to give you guys tips on uplighting, how to charge them the correct way, how to prevent this sort of thing from happening so it doesn't happen to you, because at the end of the day, we're dealing with batteries here and it could happen, in my opinion, with any uplighting. I mean, even the name brand stuff, I feel like it could happen with. So I'm going to give you some tips on this. Number one, never, ever ever, ever charge your lights overnight, ever, terrible idea, multiple reasons too, okay, not just because of the fire risk, multiple, multiple reasons, the first being a fire risk, okay, batteries can mess up, you, 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 you don't want to leave them on all night unaccompanied, okay, and they don't need that much long, that long to charge, most uplights will charge in two to three hours, did you know that? Most, large majority, my uplights charge to 100% in about an hour and a half all day. I do it every day or every weekend. About an hour and a half, maybe two hours, 100%, good to go. Because you always have some juice from the last party, you know? You're not starting at zero unless like you do, you do one charge for the whole weekend. I charge every time, but anyway, never charge it overnight, okay? Plug them in and charge them and watch, check the battery meters and then unplug them. Let's say worst case of fire happens. You're going to smell it. You're going to be near it. You're going to be checking on them. You're going to be able to stop the fire from ruining the rest of your uplights because it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't five uplights that caught up in flames. I'm sure it was just one. I mean, what are the chances of like an, whole, an entire case, every battery blown up at once? Like, no, it was one uplight, I'm sure, right, that burned and then caught a whole fire and the whole thing went. You're going to be up. You're going to be aware. You're going to be around. You're going to smell plastic or some shit burning. You're going to be able to go prevent this fire from spreading, maybe burning down your house, God forbid, or, 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 or at the very least, like going through all your uplights. And now this guy is probably without all, all of his uplights, right? So always, always, always just when you're doing your admin, you're at home, whatever, just charge them, tr- charge them while you're there. It only takes an hour and a half, two hours. Okay. The second reason why you want to do that is the battery life. For the same exact reason, you don't want to like charge your phone overnight, that sort of thing. If you overcharge a battery, you're going to fuck up the battery life. The battery life will go down. If you charge your phone at night, every night, your iPhone, every night, or your Android or whatever, every single night, you'll notice, right, quicker than normal that eventually you're only going to get like an 85% charge. You look at your battery health, it's only like an 85%, 90% because you're overcharging it, overcharging it. You're going to get a lot more life out of the batteries of your uplights if you only charge them until they're full and that's it, rather than if you just charge them overnight, just overcharging, overcharging, leave them on all night. Not to mention you're wasting a ton of electricity, you know? Even like my other battery-powered stuff, like my, um, I got a Sennheiser wireless XSD, little dongles that you can, you know, extend a speaker with or whatever. I plug those in, I, I, and then I'll, I'll, I'll check on them every like, you know, an hour or two. They take about a couple hours to charge. Once the light turns green, I unplug them. I don't charge them overnight because I want to, I want to get the best bang for my buck with these batteries. I don't want these batteries to start lasting less and less. You know, if you got uplights, you had a couple years and all of a sudden, you know, they're lasting less and less and less and less like a dramatic drop. Like it's probably because you're charging them all night. You know, I mean, all batteries will eventually, 
you know, not hold a charge as well, eventually, you know, like die. They're, they're all, they all have shelf lives, okay? All batteries will not last forever. It's just a fact. But you're going to get the most longevity out of your batteries if you only charge them till they're full and then unplug them, okay? Not to mention you're going to prevent something like this. Trust me. Next. Leave the lids open when you're charging them. If you're charging them in cases, right? We all have like different cases, different setups. Leave the lids open. Do not charge them with the lids down ever. No matter what kind of light you have, do not do that. These batteries are charging. When batteries charge, they, they, they produce heat. They get hot. If you have the lid down, that heat is going to get trapped in there. And that can create a really hot situation in there. You're hot boxing your batteries, essentially. Your, all your up lights. And if it gets a little too hot in there, shit could happen. It could cause a fire. Like that, that, that's another way you could cause a fire. So do not close the lid when you're charging. Make sure the lids are open as you're charging them. Always, always, always. Next is use as many circuits as possible. Now, everybody has different houses and stuff like that. So, you know, you might not have a different circuit for all four of your boxes, right? Maybe put two on each circuit at the most, but you're going to be drawing a lot of power. These things, when they're charging, they draw a lot of power. I know for a fact because when I go to charge it at a wall and then I have my power conditioner plugged into it, it'll drop, my voltage will drop three, four, at least, at least. I'll be at like 120. That shit will drop down to 116, 115, at least with, with one box charging. You know what I mean? You want to charge them on separate circuits. If you overload one circuit, obviously a circuit breaker can break and all that, but that can also somehow cause an electrical problem or electrical fire if you overload a circuit and your breaker, your, you have old electricity. I don't, I'm not an electrician. I don't know exactly, but I know for a fact that you want to separate these things because you're going to have electrical problems, okay? And this is just preventing more bullshit. So you have to keep separate circuits for these. You know, if you have an electrician friend or you are an electrician, I mean, I know DJs that have in their office set up where they have like nine circuits on one wall and they just charge all their up lights, bang, and you're good to go. Like that's the ideal situation. Um, if I can be honest with you, what I do, you know, a lot of the time, if like, if I don't have time to charge them during a week or whatever, I'll just bring them to the venue. I'll charge them at the venue. And I put like one box on every corner, you know, at every corner. Cause like, you know, venue will have different circuits all around. I mean, most will have different circuits all the way around. So I'll put a different box all around the corners and then charge them at the venue for an hour and a half, two hours while we're setting up. Okay. I know you're thinking, oh, you're going to burn down the wedding. If something catches, I'm going to smell it. I'm going to smell it. I'll see something happening. I'll go, I'll go take care of the situation. It's never happened once. Okay. In the hundreds of times I've charged my uplights at venues. Thank God, knock on wood. But if it did happen, you know, I would smell it. I'm in the room. I'm only charging for an hour and a half, two hours, not overcharging them. The lids open and they're all on separate circuits. So I'm in pretty good shape. You know, I'm, all the cards are in my favor. Worst case, one little fire starts or something that would be terrible. I can like roll the box right out the door and throw it outside you know we can grab a fight we can figure it out you know uh, but but it, at least you're taking all the proper steps you know make sure you take all the proper steps and I figure this is an interesting time to kind of talk about um you know Chinese versus name brand up lights I don't really touch on this too much it's like uh it's a taboo subject right and it's a tough thing. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion on it, okay? Because I know, like, a lot of DJs are, like, oh, they hate, like, they, they think it's just such a bad thing with the Chinese thing. And it is, you know what I mean? It doesn't really help, you know, like, but that's what, you know, the, like, that's what they do out there. You know, in Asia, they, they knock everything off. You ever been to Canal Street in New York? You go to Canal Street in New York, you literally, they have all their shops and everything. All you got to do is be like, hey. Where's, uh, where's the good stuff? Ask any of the shops down there, where's the good stuff? He'll bring you to a back room. You might think you're being murdered, but you're not. He'll bring you to a back room, and he'll bring you to a room filled with knockoff Louis Vuitton, coach purses, any type of fancy brand name thing you ever wanted, just the greatest knockoffs of all time. You know, they just, they knock everything off, right? And they make mad money doing it. They got a crazy manufacturing thing over there. That, that's just what they do. We're, not, we're never going to stop them, right? A lot of people don't like the whole, you know, the Chinese versus name brands thing. They're like, you got to use the name brands. They're better. But like for me, in my opinion, I really think they're really similar. And it's tough because they're knocking off the technology. It's pretty much the same thing. But for whatever reason, because of how we manufacture, whatever the costs are here, it's literally three times as much for an American light. And I don't care who you are. I don't know one DJ. All name fit. Think about your favorite wedding DJ on earth, okay, that uses up lights at a wedding. Your favorite one. Your, think about it. Just, just, just name, what name came to your head? I promise you he uses Chinese up lights. 
We all do. I have Chinese uplights as well, okay? Because it's just more cost effective. They last a long time. They last years and years and years. They work great. Uh, you know what I mean? It just, it, it, it's sketchy buying them or whatever, but like it, it, they work great. They're good lights. So why pay three times as much? You know what I mean? Like, I don't think, like he blamed this on the Chinese uplights. I don't think, I, I, I'm, I'm a, batteries can go wrong on name brand stuff too. And what's the difference then? Okay, so I bought all a name brand uh, lights, all name brand uplights, and then something uh, goes wrong and they catch on fire. Like, what's the difference? Can I like sue them? Maybe, I don't know. Like, I don't think so. Like, there's a lot of factors in that. You know what I mean? Is there really a big difference? Warranty work, I guess. But like, you can, I don't you can get the, the the spare parts for Chinese stuff too, you know? So to me, it's just like, I don't know. It's just a tough thing. They got to like bring their costs down somehow because they're all the same thing, essentially. They use the same diodes. That's why, you know, the companies try and sue and all that because they really do use the same exact technology, you know? So until they can get the cost down and kind of figure out the whole situation, I just think Chinese is the way to go. And I don't think not using Chinese would have prevented this. You know, you just, you just gotta, you just gotta do the other tips that I talked about. Okay. The other tips, you know, do never charge overnight Leave the lids open while charging and use separate circuits, okay? And take care of the lights. And that's it. And, 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 you, and you'll be in good shape. You'll just be in good shape. That's my opinion on the whole matter, okay? Probably going to get canceled for talking about, uh, talking about uh, you know, name brand versus Chinese lights and all that. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. I don't care. I don't do this for a sponsorship, so I don't know, you know? And, and, and that's another thing, too. Any, any one of uh, the influencers or any of the DJs that do use name brand lights, that's because they're getting them for free. Prove me wrong, okay? Very few people pay full price for these lights that I know of, okay? I would use name brand lights. Like any, if anybody's looking, send me lights for free. I'll, I'll, I'll use them and, and scream them from the mountaintops. I'm sure they're great. I'm sure they're great. Like I'll, I'd be happy to use them. I just don't want to pay $300 a light. Like that's a lot of money. Like that's a lot of money, especially when venues are adding up lights and stuff. Like, you know, I don't know. Anyway, that turned into a rant. <laughs>